Take a piece of you. Take a piece of me. Michael Hutchins was the next king of rock and roll. He'd walk onto a stage and just light it up. The best of the best. I was blown away. Yeah, baby, yeah. Now that the day is over. Really one of the great performers, I think, ever in rock. I got a new sensation. Hit songs, so many. You'll only find one Michael Hutchins. He could have 100,000 people in the palm of his hand. Danger, talent, curly hair. What does desire look like in a human being? Him. He was beautiful. Lady killer. Constantly in the presence of women. The most beautiful women you can imagine. Amazing. The great boyfriend. <laughs> what are you? A big Thank sex you. symbol or something? <laughs> He's like this true artist. A genius poet. So much depth to this story and to who this guy was. Just happened to become a really famous rock star. He loved life. I should get one of these anyway. I need one at the house. Yeah. Everybody needs an oyster open, doesn't it? Everyone from Bono to Mick Jagger, everybody looked at Michael. He was a showman. He was a rock star. The Michael Hutchins you saw was the Michael Hutchins you got. Real live rock star. He was an Australian to the end. Drones on the Barbie. A timeless story. Michael had it all. Oh yeah, he had it all. Bono ringing up. Johnny Depp's just set his shirt on fire and he'd come and help us out. And uh, me and Michael said, like, sounds quite fun. Nah, come on, let's get back to work. He partied. An expert, you might say. <laughs> Some people have it. He liked having fun. We had a lot of laughs. He was funny. He liked partying. He was a brother. Shy. A storyteller. He liked drugs. Super intelligent. Sensitive. He liked girls. And cheeky. A rock god. The guy just had it in spades. I always think that God reserves the lisp for truly dangerous people. Hi, this is Michael Hutchins. Oh, he was a bad dude. I had the best time on Michael. He lived. He was a damn funny bastard. Michael was getting into new music. He was trying to grow. She was uh, a, a real gift from God. He loved his family. A heavenly Iranian tiger lily. Tiger was the, the center of his universe. It's something that becomes about more than you, doesn't it? It was Michael's future. Had the world at his feet. He was kicking ass and the girls were screaming. The superstar of that night was the great Michael Hutchins. I was standing next to the king. That was his last gig. It's too strange. But he has an instrument of his own. So he goes insane towards the end. The guy got mad and came over and punched Michael. And he lost his taste and he lost his smell. And then it changes. He was a very complex character. He just wanted to be with his baby. <laughs> he just got quieter. All the stories were untrue. Oh, I wanted to sing. And he seemed isolated and alone. You know, he needed a break, man. Okay, that's enough. Thank you very much. Cheers, thanks, Michael. The paparazzi gave them hell, jumped onto the bonnet just to try and get a shot. So this is the end of celebrity. Sick of the dogs outside my window. It's expensive to punch photographers, I found out. There was a lot of shit going on there. Michael did not want to be on that tour. Well, don't go. Stay here. The international music industry is in shock with the death of rock star Michael Hutchins. Under curious circumstances, we'll never see him again. That's when we lost him. Michael was the last rock star. It was at his time to go. It was shocking and unbelievable. A conscious decision to leave the planet when he just had the child that he adored. There's no fucking way. I wanted him to open his eyes and say, just fooling sis. I miss him. I still have dreams about him. Rest in peace, Mike. I miss his sense of humor. 
Yeah, he was very good with accents. Well, get them big old speed boats, put that big old engine on the back, put the sail to the cabin, put them on the pedal, four dads, cook them up real fine down the Creole style. I think he's smiling in Rock and Roll Heaven. <laughs> He'd probably be up there chasing Diana. <laughs> then there's the music. The batch of songs fell between the cracks. He had shit stored all over the world. Complete lyrics, fantastic vocals. There was a vault in Zurich with guitars. There's an enormous amount of stuff that the public haven't seen. Another vault in Paris, it's treasure. They was left in his hotel room and he was riding right up until that evening. And I've held on to it for Tiger for many years. And then in London, there was this underground sort of bunker. There was a batch of tapes there. his music forever. He's going to write the final chapter. There's that voice, man. We have to honor Michael's legacy. Okay. Oof, I got goosebumps. It just blew me away. Putting a little bit of a happy ending on a story that really didn't have one. The timing is right. His own voice to tell the story with the music. This is what people remember. I just felt such warmth. It's gonna hit people in a cool way. The time is right now, you know. I guess he's still here, ain't he? It's Michael. This might bring him peace, you know what I mean? And everybody else. It's gonna be big. What you have is something that nobody else has. Can't wait to hear it. It needs to be heard. She just touched the soul of so many people. I know there's a lot of people out there that want to hear it, you know, so let's give it to them. This <laughs> record's gonna make a lot of people happy. You've got too much friction.